Good Monday morning! Welcome to the Beamish Blogcast, July 18th, 2016, and our long desert nightmare is over with. A quarter inch of rain at Tucson International Airport yesterday, putting to bed the third longest July dry streak on record here for Tucson, dating all the way back to 1895. That third longest streak, 15 days without measurable rainfall. For the monsoon, now approaching two and a half inches of rain at the airport. Average to date is just over an inch, so despite that long long dry spell we are still well above average for the monsoon when it comes to rainfall what about today another decent shot of showers and thunderstorms 98 the daytime high rain chances decreasing to 20 percent overnight with upper 70s for your nighttime lows so one of the things we were watching very closely on tucson today our morning newscast was the abundant cloud cover over southern arizona but it is eroding away very quickly so the atmosphere should begin to destabilize over the next several hours our monsoon high is in a great spot spot off to the east so we're getting that east southeasterly flow aloft maintaining our monsoon moisture here's a look at the latest rapid refresh model firing up storms around 12 to 2 p.m some of those scattered storms drifting into the valley floors late afternoon through the early evening hours prime time for the metro should be about 3 to 7 p.m thereafter showers and thunderstorms decreasing in coverage to that isolated flavor we'll put the monsoon prediction index at 4 out of 10 today that is a moderate thunderstorm storm risk, primary concerns, locally heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and the dust storm potential. Storms are going to be moving from the southeast to the northwest. That is a prime dust storm pattern in Pinal County. Pretty much now through Friday, a daily chance of scattered thunderstorms, which will be highly dependent on how much cloud cover we wake up to during the morning hours. From the upper 90s today to triple-digit territory, tomorrow through the weekend, and by the weekend, some slightly drier air works in. That'll heat us up to about 104 to 105 for daytime highs and decrease our thunder threat to the isolated hit and miss nature. We'll watch the storms throughout the day on air, online, on your mobile device. I'll catch you on the TV side later today for News 4 Tucson at noon.